Most of the time, you need to do market study before you start a new business or bring a product to a new market. There are a few things you might want to know before you start. How do you describe your goals? Where do you begin? How can you tell if you have enough information to call your study done? Companies that do market research often don't get a good reaction, which leads to small sample sizes and predictions that can't be trusted. It's hard to put the responses into groups when you can't just call them all customers. This leads to the second problem, which is that organizations can't figure out who their target group is or who their buyers are. When doing market research, sometimes the problems come from not choosing the right metrics, not having methods and workflows written down, or not having enough discipline or operational skills. Market research is important for businesses not only because it helps them learn about trends and how customers act. It also helps organizations make important choices, find new opportunities, figure out who their competitors are, and improve their products and services. The main way to know if market research is good is if the business goals are met. Key goals could be to improve the company's reputation on the market, make products work better, and find out how customers respond to price changes or new market developments. How do you do basic research? Primary market research is a way to find out if a product or service will work by getting information directly from the source, potential buyers. Instead of using research that has already been done, primary market research starts from scratch. People often use in-person interviews, focus groups, surveys, product trials, product testing, or direct observations to do basic market research. Most of the time, marketers do original research to solve a problem that needs in-depth analysis. Kinds of first-hand study. Quantitative and qualitative research are the two main types of basic market research. Both types of study are important for getting different kinds of information. Quantitative market research looks at numbers instead of the thoughts, feelings, and views of consumers. Using surveys, polls, and quizzes, a lot of statistical information needs to be gathered for the process. Using mathematical, statistical, and computational methods, Researchers can collect data that they can then look at to find trends and averages, make predictions, and make broad statements. The goal of quantitative market research is to find out what the problem is and how common it is. Quantitative market research can give very accurate results that help businesses figure out what their goals are and how to achieve them. Qualitative market research focuses on collecting behavioral, observational, and non-numerical data like audio, text, or video to learn about customer opinions, motivations, or experiences. Qualitative market research asks open-ended questions to a small group of 6 to 10 people and lets them talk about the topics in depth. Focus groups and conversations are the most common ways that qualitative market research is done. Sources of first-hand information in-depth interviews, surveys, focus groups, social media tracking, and questionnaires are all first-hand sources for research. Let's talk about them in more detail. In-depth talks are a great way to find out how a brand or product is seen by a customer group. In-depth interviews are usually interactive and have a framework that can be changed. These interviews are led by a trusted moderator who takes into account not only the answers, but also the respondent's body language and overall opinion. Surveys help gather a lot of information about the traits and preferences of a group of people. In the future, marketers will be able to use this information to predict how customers will act. Focus groups are interviews with a small group of people chosen to represent the target crowd. The people in the group are chosen based on things like where they live, their age, their socioeconomic level, etc., Questionnaires are a way to find out what your customers think by asking them a number of closed-ended or open-ended questions. There are different types of surveys, such as computer, telephone, mail questionnaires. Hypothesis testing for existing goods can be done through multivariate testing. This lets you look at the price for different markets or different audiences, compare the design of web pages, and how well they convert, and so on. Both methods work in a similar way but multivariate testing compares a larger number of factors and gives you more information. MVP testing for new goods is done by putting out a version of the product with just a few of the features that early customers need most. 
Later, the users can give useful feedback that can be used to make the product better in future versions. Targeted social media monitoring helps you find out information about your business, your industry, and your competitors. This information includes any mentions of your brand, such as reviews, questions about your products, or complaints about your service fix. Primary research lets you get information that hasn't been gathered before. It also gives you results that are specific to your company's needs and give you the most up-to-date information. The other good thing about primary market research is that the data is unique and can't be used by rivals, so you have an edge over your competitors. Because of how this method is set up, you can study a small group and then use the results to study the whole market. On the other hand, direct market research is often costly, takes a lot of time, and needs to be done in person with customers. How do you do extra research? Secondary market research is a type of market research that uses data from secondary sources that wasn't made for the purposes of the current study. In other words, in secondary research, marketers look at data that has already been collected and use it for something other than what it was collected for. Most of the time, the secondary information comes from industry and trade groups, government agencies, media agencies, newsletters, magazines, and newspapers that focus on the industry. Most of the time, this type of research is less expensive and easier to do than direct market research. Various kinds of background research. There are two kinds of secondary market research. Research that comes from inside the company and research that comes from outside the company. Internal info. Data about how the company works can be found in its files and used for future reference. Internal data for a company includes information about customers' accounts, how products are used, sales records, and study reports that have already been done. There are also departmental records, records of past advertising and marketing efforts, and so on. External info. External data is made by people outside of the company such as information from rivals, journals and magazines, surveys of the industry, and market reports. Where secondary information can be found. Secondary research can also use a lot of different sources of knowledge, just like primary research. Here are a few of the most common ones. For secondary market research, sales data is a useful source of information. Every business keeps track of information about daily activities, orders delivered, invoices, and goods that are sent back. Marketers can use this information to learn about sales by region, customer type, average sales per salesperson, prices, discounts, and other information. Financial information lets us figure out how well marketing activities are working. It includes the prices of making, storing, moving, and selling the product. It can also help you figure out which goods or services make your business more money or put it in the red. Governmental and local statistical records. Many government, regional, and local groups collect data that businesses and nonprofits can use for market research. This information includes data about the economy, trade, and production, as well as data about the population. For example, the official site of data.gov has a lot of information about the United States, while the official site of Eurostat has information about the European Union. Many trade associations offer both free and paid reports to keep workers up to date on what's going on in their field. Specialized journals and media regularly post news, research, press releases, and professional articles, which can be great sources of up-to-date secondary data. Specialized research groups gather data for commercial marketing research, which they then sell to other businesses. These businesses collect information about the population of consumers, their attitudes, trends, and behaviors, as well as their online and offline purchases. Search engine results are a good place to find both free and paid information. Study on competitors. You can find out about your rivals from a variety of places, like their websites, review sites, and news articles. With this method, you can learn a lot about how market players and customers think about a certain company. Secondary market research is a great foundation for primary research because it helps figure out and predict how effective and useful the primary research will be. Information from government sources, schools, and the media is accurate, thorough, and covers a wide range of topics. Other benefits of secondary market research are that it is inexpensive, 
saves time, and lets you get a wide range of free data in less time than main research. The bad thing about private market research is that data collected by a third party is often not very good or accurate. The knowledge that comes from secondary research is not always specific or up-to-date enough. Also, the data is open to many companies, so it takes away a competitive edge for your company.